Hey there again, it's Liz Suri here, your tax advisor accountant. Hey, so really quick, as I promised you a few videos, um, on the last one I was talking about the fact that um, a lot of people were questioning whether or not, you know, the stimulus check and exactly also the SBA grant, whether it was taxable or not. And so far as I explained in the last video, supposedly, supposedly it's not. Um, but this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's about, um, some folks that I'm really concerned about, and those are for people who are in social security and also disability, all right? And I know I've been seeing a lot uh, complaints and you know people really concerned about where's my money, where's my money? Everybody seems like they have received their monies. So I'm gonna say to you, please be patient, don't give up. Uh, however, I do want to give you a few tips and things that you can do from your end, okay? And really do something about it because here's the, here's the truth. It's your money, all right? And again, I don't think they're doing anything to purpose. It's just, again, because of the circumstances and how many millions of checks they had to process and direct deposits, why did they wait until the end to provide those monies to what I consider one of the um, largest percentage of people who have a fixed income that desperately really needs those funds uh, to help them in the process um, because they're entitled to it too, right? So please folks, if you have not received your direct deposit, it was supposed to be processed, most of them between, I think right before May 15, it was supposed to be the cutoff day. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Um, but I know as a fact that many people that I know, um, including even relatives, that they have not received that money. And that's so unfair. I mean, I really see it that way um, because, again, you know, all of you, everyone needs it. But think about this for a moment, get in their shoes. If you be in a fixed income with just a monthly, you know, uh, uh, amount and you look forward to that money like we all did, right? I know I received mine way back in April 15th. Hmm, strange, right? But exactly on the deadline of uh, the taxes is when I received my money and it was a direct deposit. So again, please contact directly, okay? Even though the offices, most states, they have not opened yet. Remember that you can call. Yes, it might be a long way. Yes, I understand it's frustrating. I mean, it's just a hassle to be on the phone. Your calls get disconnected. I heard a lot of things like that. But again, be persistent. Remember, it's your money, okay? The government has given you this to help you in this situation. So uh, don't give up, all right? So go and like I said, call them as often as you have it. Really, I do it just over and over, multiple times a day. And send out emails. There's certain emails that you can still send within their own uh, website or even message them. Uh, do whatever it takes and um you know it might sound kind of like old-fashioned and i know most of you have been retired you from from you know uh the baby boomer generation listen mail still works <laughs> so getting the tension uh that you need then by all means go ahead and you know get the address and physically yeah send an envelope a yellow envelope that's what i tell people don't use the small little white envelopes use something that is going to get their attention all right, and then just put it uh, in the mail as a regular mail or register. That would be even a better option. That way you have some sort of confirmation that you actually did mail this, okay? And it doesn't cost just a couple of dollars uh, that you can do a registered mail in, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the United States Postal Office, okay? Just do that. Send that out on a yellow big envelope, okay, at any type of dollar store. You can get like three envelopes for a dollar um, and, and, and handwrite it. Yeah, handwriting, make a few copies and send it, send it out every week, every 10 days until you get your money. Okay, so if you cannot get through, like I say, on the phone, if you cannot get, reach out through the messengers, anything like that, drop the envelope. I mean it. I mean, I think that when we're persistent, we always win at the end. And hopefully you might agree with me on that. So I do want to see all of you who are so secure, and like I said, in disability, that you get the monies that the government has given uh, to all of us. Okay. So again, I wish a lot of luck and uh, I'd love to hear your, your, you know, your comments. And uh, as I research more of this information if i can come up with some sort of address or anything else i can help you with um i'd be happy to do so but again like i said be persistent okay remember those who persist always win at the end okay so anyhow take care everyone stay safe stay healthy and like i said 
keep insisting all right so anyhow we'll see you in the next video like i said feel free to um you really subscribe if you want to get up-to-date information or perhaps you want to make some comments and like i said even share information with other folks that you know that they're lost they don't know what to do neither they're like okay wh wh what's my next step uh, you know i'm not being heard uh you know I, it, the money hasn't been deposited into my account i know most of you have direct deposit uh, make sure by the way in in the past six months if you change your checking account or there was any um changes within uh, like if you had a joint account maybe with a spouse or things like that that could trigger problems okay so again just make sure you reach out to them and uh and, you know in a nice way and like i said it could be a very simple handwritten letter that you can make copies that way you can resend it every single time uh and i will be persistent like i said every week every 10 days send out that yellow envelope with your handwritten letter someone will have to get back to you one way or another okay so don't give up and uh and I